September 9th, 2015 um, was a pretty pivotal moment in my, in my life. I was just standing out waiting to go to an appearance at the US Open and got attacked by a, an undercover police officer that threw me on the ground, midtown Manhattan, and cuffed me and kept me in custody for about 15 minutes. This police officer claimed it was a mistaken identity without any apology afterwards when uh, they realized there was no chance I had done the crime they were looking for. We have determined as a result of the investigation that Mr. Blake uh, had no role of involvement in the criminal investigation that we were conducting. Concerns I have about what I witnessed on the video, the inappropriateness of the amount of force that was used during the arrest. It was something that was just so shocking at the time to feel that vulnerable, to know that you're completely in their hands and at their mercy. It's a, it's a difficult situation and I've been up nights since then thinking about what could have happened had I fought back, had I really thought that this person had venom. As an athlete, a guy, you're taught to be a tough guy and I wanted to sweep it under the rug immediately and not think anything about it until I spoke to my wife. She was as angry or angrier than I was and she just put me in her shoes and said, what if that happened to me? What if this happened to one of our kids? And that forced me to, to really put myself in that position and say, I don't want this to ever happen again to anyone I know, anyone I care about. And that's why I'm gonna speak up because I, I know I have a voice. Arthur Ashe, to me, was always a role model. He was a role model for what he did in tennis, but even more so for what he was as a human being. When he was the Wimbledon champion, he was still doing his best to fight for others, fight stop apartheid in South Africa. When he was stricken with HIV, he was doing his best to fight for others that had more grave, more dire situations than he had. And to me, I felt like he didn't make it about me. He never said, why me? He wanted to use his voice to influence and help others in a positive way. And in this situation that I was in, I wanted to turn it into something about other activists, how athletes have had such a positive influence on society for generations. Ways of Grace is definitely a homage to Arthur Ashe, uh, paying tribute to him and Days of Grace. That's really one of my favorite books of all time. If I was going to put that title on the book, which I did before I even wrote the book, it put pressure on me. I wanted to make it worthy of taking the title from Arthur Ashe, who I look up to and have always had the greatest deal of respect for. So I wanted it to be a book really about something, something that I care about, and something that will hopefully make a difference and open a dialogue, open a discussion about race, about activists, about athletes that are doing good things. Athletes are human beings. They're a lot more than just the two or three hours you see them on TV. And people want to say stick to sports, but they have real issues that are on their mind. And any sort of discussion on those topics is, I think, a positive one.